Well, Anna Zantinson and uh, Lee Chi Hao go to battle in the match that matters most for our next two players on court one. Two fantastic matchups in the lower half of the draw, but it's on a pop off who haven't met since that World Junior Championship final in Kazan in 2019 when the tie went on to make history. Ginting and Li Shi Fang will also be a fascinating encounter later today. Men's singles quarterfinals. Kotai Naroka, Japan. Last year's runner up here at the Singapore Open. Versus Shu Yuqi, China. Kodai Narioka when he's up against Shi Yu Chi. He's been up and down in form. And on his day, one of the very best in the world over the last few years. So 4-0 the head-to-head, -head, oh, but it was Xi Yuqi in three times, 21-17. Sudaman Cup last Black. month, that was the semi-finals. So no change of ends called. Xi Yuqi will start the match at the top of our screens. And we have a couple of minutes to talk a bit more about our two players. Kodai Narioka, still 21 years of age from Aomori in Japan. To the end of May, he spent five weeks at number three in the world. He's just slipped down one place in the rankings. Winner of the German Open earlier this year. Last year's runner-up here, as I mentioned, at the Singapore Open. Two Indian opponents so far in the round of 32 and round of 16 and this route through to the quarterfinals. Straight games, handling the conditions really well and that's been a big part of his performance so far this week. Six foot tall, Shi Yu Chi is now 27 years old. Number nine in the rankings, number five in the World Tour rankings. And he spent a year in total at number two in the world. 45 of those weeks were consecutive. What's fascinating this week is that second round opponent against his teammate. 80 minutes it took, he saved a match point. It was match point down in the second, saved it. He needed four points four game points himself to close out the seconds. Then he was 14-6 up in the third yesterday. And Lou came back to 19 all. It was an incredible match. And I wonder if it's going to take its toll. Especially against the runner, Kodai Narioka. It's going to be a long one. Welsh-born David Evans perhaps lives in England nowadays. I haven't spoken to him for a while, but he's our chair umpire for this one. And Mohamed Kateb from Canada is our service judge. Narioka just loosening all the joints up. Don't expect these two players to cause David Evans too much trouble out here on court one. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Kodai Naoka, Japan. 
and to my left, Shi Yu Qi, China. Shi Yu Qi to serve. Level. Play. So Chris, Shi Yu Qi came through an epic yesterday, an absolute thriller. We didn't see it on court one, at least it wasn't when uh, you and I were on there, but how much as a top player does that play a part in a big tournament like this? I mean, uh, is it just a case of conditioning or could players like this do that day in, day out? It's difficult because I do think every player's, you know, slightly different, Two. but I, I, I would say I don't think every player could do that day in, day out because the match was, I think it was approximately 80 minutes, which is long. Not only that, though, it's the emotional ups and downs. You know, it's, it's more than just 80 minutes of physical. You do 80 minutes in training, it's comfortable. You know, players will train for normally minimum of a two-hour session, yeah. uh, up to three hours. So, you know, on a grand, grand scheme of things, it's short, but it's not because there's so much more emotion, so much more physical and mental extra exertion you go through it in a competitive situation. Yeah, I mean, I mean he, was, he was match point down in the, in the second. So, so then to come back and then... He needed four times to take the game himself. That's emotional luck. Then he's got to go and do it all again in the third. Two. Yeah, I think today it could play a part. I think it would depend on the length of this game. If we have, you know, we've seen earlier today some matches have been quicker, and we saw the men's doubles, which was a bit of a monster game, as in length, a really close game. I think it just depends how this unfolds with how long the rallies are. If the rallies are very long, I do think the longer the game goes on, the the more of an effect it could have because Three, Narioki two. yesterday, his game was a lot shorter, a lot, a lot less fatiguing. Um, but it'll be interesting how this unfolds. I didn't quite um, catch Four, the result of the two. toy. Oh, well, I did see the result of the uh, coin toss, but not the decision. That was made. I don't suppose you caught it, Chris. As there was no change of ends, but I wonder whether it was one of the players that elected to stay where they were. Oh, I'm sorry. It seems to be so quick. I uh, I didn't catch it either. It was quick. I was talking about that head-to-head. -head. It just interests me to uh, understand how much impact that's having on these players out here. Big smash down the line from Shiu Chi. Capable of greatness, Shiu Chi. He took that um, All England title when, for me at the time, I didn't know much about him, but he exploded on the scene and took that All England title in, back in 2018, five years ago now. I almost had the feeling at the time he was going to be the next big thing. He's never quite made it to number one spot in the world. Certain Mr. Axelson saw to that. I do think a lot of it, to be honest with you, was linked down to um, the issue that he had when he was his career was paused. Uh, when the well, the Chinese Federation, they banned him. Uh, oh. Yeah, when he had the, the whole peculiar situation where he, let's say, had the match, I think it was against Momota, where he was losing and then he kind of, let's say, didn't give his best effort. There was such a unique situation where I think the Chinese Federation said that they're going to give him a short duration where he was banned from tournaments. Uh, so that all rings a bell now, but I wasn't sure of the, uh, the aftermath of that, uh, of that match, yeah. And I just think something like that, it doesn't take a lot sometimes to just cause a little bump in a momentum, in a, in a flow. And then it takes some time to get back into things. And I do think it was linked around the COVID time as well. You know, COVID, it still has. I honestly still think COVID has had an effect on badminton because some of the, the level that certain players were or of certain disciplines, I think, have been affected by it still. And we're obviously a long, long time after. Yeah. Um, things are still now, you know, progressing back to the stage where we're getting all the tournaments going again, the players going and... But if you look at some players' rankings, some players have, you know, 10, 11 yes. tournaments on. And it's just a, a little bit of an aftermath of, of, uh, of COVID for me. Yes, and there was also that issue where the rankings were protected for a bit longer. 
because of COVID, which meant young players trying to get up through the rankings were finding it more and more difficult. And so it's affecting the whole of the sport, not just those that were at the top. Yeah, and I think now some of those pairs are having to play the slightly lower ranking tournaments to get their ranking up still, just because they, they obviously weren't allowed in the bigger tournaments. And it's only now I think some of the, the slightly younger pairs are getting in these tournaments and you see generation come through in some of the disciplines. Great footwork from Kodai Narioka. And he found a straight smash winner. Seven, five. Great placement. Yes. Thank you. Holding the net there. Good net shot. And it's it's actually not a bad lift at all. I think the lift's probably just behind the front tram line, so it's not a bad lift. It's just he's got so much time. Might have drifted out wide. Oh. Superb, Narioka. Yeah, that's a brilliant shot. Great control there. Oh. Just to move the shuttle across court. We saw this yesterday, Kodai Naraoki coped so well on this uh, sort of less preferred end and that no lift style. So good at it, his touch around the net, his recovery and neutralizing shots to force and find that opening there. Yeah, I mean, that was, that was a phenomenal rally from Naraoki. I think he should have lost the rally, well, not should have, possibly could have lost the rally twice there. And he's, as you say, he's so good at holding the net there. He does so good to get that back. He's following the tactic kind of to a T, as it were, as in he's so, I will not lift unless there's no other option. It's good judgment there. 11, 6, 8, well, it's working for him and a really good sign for Kodai Narioka. Five points he leads at the mid-game interval. Just eight minutes of play. And for me, Shi Chi, just a bit too passive, perhaps. Could really start to try and take control, push up the court. Yeah, I think uh, shiyuki has got to understand that Naropa's not going to lift. He's not going to lift unless he has to. So he's got to have slightly higher base to be taking it early and pushing him into the corners and really trying to stretch him. Eleven, six, play.
Inch perfect from Shiyu Chi. Yeah, great shot. Stepped Seven. in, whipped it cross. And it's all because he's going towards the shuttle. He's trying to take it early. I mean, Shiyuki, he's got to look forward. He's got to, as in, he's got to be trying to get forward as much as possible. Here, steps in, whips it forward. And he can play into that uh, drift as well a bit, bit more aggressively. Maybe there is a little bit of fatigue from yesterday. She's just not quite looked as sharp. A few easy points, some cheaper mistakes. And it, it wonderful straight smash winner. She, she's going to struggle even more when they change ends, I would say. Yeah, I mean, Naroka, to be fair, he hasn't really put a foot wrong, though. He has played very well so far. Yeah, super. Too flat with the lift, Narioka. But it was a great shot from Chi. <laughs> Clever from Chi. A bit more aggressive on the net initially. And got the short lift. Just wide. Wow. Flick surf variation from Xi. Brilliant. He really is the complete player, Chris uh, Kodai Narioka, isn't he? At times when he when he's in full flow. Yeah, I mean he's he's so solid. He he doesn't really give away any cheap points. He works hard. I mean he's following the tactic very well. Looking calm and composed. And I just say Shiyuki at the moment. It's some of these cheap mistakes, four or five so far this first game. Kept it in, great length from Xiu Qi, good judgment. That's gone wide. It's just a drift again. Yeah. I would say, Arioka, I wouldn't say he's done anything phenomenal. 16, I'd say, don't get me wrong, five. but he's consistently very good, I'd say. And this is the difference. He doesn't give anything away, he doesn't hit a weak, well, we saw one return, which was not a good quality shot, but except for that in his first game so far, he, he's barely done anything where he's given away the point easily or hit the wrong shot. But Shiyu Chi there's hunting the net. I mean, he played the net, he followed it in, and Narioka still has the confidence and the skill to play back at him. Look how close Shiyu Chi was. Both feet pretty much in front of the service line. That's because he's, he's confident in the tactic, Narioka. Yeah. He's confident that he can play net, and he's got the ability to, and he plays a great shot. I'd say Shiyu Chi has to let it come out of the spin there and just do a high, calm, composed lift and recover. He's almost jabby at it jabbing at the shuttle and the lift quality is not so good. Now Same again out. there. 
This is slipping away from Chiyuki and technically he's supposed to be down the, the more comfortable end, but he wants the attack though, he's so aggressive overhead. But he's very rarely getting this sort of opportunity. With Narioka playing that four-court game. Good backhand. It's good from Shiyuki, the way he pushed the corner and then stepped up and then has fairly comfortable backhand to finish the rally with here. Pushes over, Narioka's late and then bang. Yeah, one slightly loose shot from Narioka. He was late though. Good judgment. Yeah, I'd say unforced errors in this first game from Shiyuki. You're getting close to double figures. It's gone wide. The drift did its best to try and hold it in. Two points required for Narioka to take the opener. Yeah, challenge here. I think it was a fraction. We're going for a fraction out, but again. My initial thoughts was it's going to go miles out, but then it landed. It looked really close. But I think you're right. I think the uh, I think the shot was just out. Worth a challenge at this stage of the game, though. Not much to lose. So game point, Narioka on serve. And he's watched that one all the way. It's gone long. Shi Chi, like you say, Chris. Just lacking that control. The shuttle out from him so often. And I think Narioka will be thrilled at how comfortable that game was, especially on that side of the court. So the game score in 17 minutes, 21 21-14. <laughs> Second game. Level. Play. Good save. So the second game gets underway. Narioka will be delighted with how easy Chi Chi, in relative terms, made the opener for him. It appeared that when they were having the coaching at the break for Narioka, it was 
a big emphasis of step up. You want to be high up the court because it's, it's hard for Shiyuki to lift now. So Narioka's now got to have the the mindset of pushing the corners to expose the, let's say, the, the area of the court that he has that his opponent doesn't have, which is the rear of the court. But make sure his base is high. Brilliant pick Fantastic up. Fantastic save from Narioka, yes. Gone wide, one too many. Good run it from Shiyuchi. It's incre two incredible oh. pickups there from Narioka, and it, it just puts that bit of doubt in Shiyuki. Said, I know Shiyuki did win the rally in the end, I know, but he's going to have to work so hard to win these points because Narioka, he just gets everything back. In the end, it's actually quite a comfortable mistake, but some of the shots he got back in that rally earlier on. Yeah, that was a loose error in the end. Too many points today. Smash wide from Narioka. Hunting that line. I think he'd uh, forgotten about that sideways drift slightly in that rally. That's twice. He's made an error of judgment. Singles player. He's breathing hard, but he's earning these points in the second. Great defense again from Narioka. This is the thing with Narioka, you have to work so hard to win a point against him. You know, he's such a solid player. And you start to think, as maybe what happened in that rally, Shiyuki, is he just forcing it? You see this final net shot here, just, I mean, it's so low to playing a net shot from there, but he, <laughs> yes. he obviously doesn't want to lift. Yeah, good play that was from the world number three. Oh, 
that was nice from Shiyuchi. And found the line as well, Narioka. Couldn't defend. I just can't see Shiyuchi being able to do that rally after rally. I would agree. I would say that that hold that he did was phenomenal. And then there he's almost hit line, which are two almost 10 out of 10 shots. And can he consistently do that for, it's not just this game, but it's the next as well, because it's a big ask. We're talking he's got to work that hard for another, I don't know, 40 minutes at least. And how much will it yesterday hmm. and even his first round have taken out of him? Please wait. Can you take yeah, and you factor in these conditions out here as well, and it becomes very difficult. Still, that was a great hold at the net. Narioka's gone long. Playing some great net. Chi Chi. This time it's gone long. Must be so frustrating for him after so much hard work. And this is, you know, as I just said, one of the big reasons why Narioka is three in the world. And it's it's just because apologies, he's actually now four in the world. Sorry, he's seeded three here, but he's four in the world. But this is one of the reasons why, you know, he's so highly ranked, because it is so hard. In that rally, I think Shiyuki played two shots, which are, you know, incredible, but he still didn't win the point. And it's, it's, it's kiss of death from the commentator, isn't it? As soon as I just say how difficult it is to win a rally, return to a simple mistake. <laughs> Both men breathing heavily. A couple of those longer rallies starting to take it out of them now. What a net shot. Oh, superb from Narioka. I feel like the first one was, you know, incredible, and the second one was beyond incredible. Net cord, and then another net cord. I mean... That's amazing. <laughs> two net cords in a row, that is quite incredible. Variation of serve. Serve is over. I do think down that end, using Seven. the flick serve is, oh. is something that can be thrown in every so often because you do have the advantage that you know you can get away with the flickers in the, the drift will keep it in. Just that little bit of something different, that bit of variation. Yeah, good defense again, Narioka. She, she didn't do a lot wrong. Needs to try and hit down when he can. Oh. That was a big smash at the body of Shiyuchi. Yeah, and then really calm put away. That kill was a lot yes. harder than he made it look. I know. I was worried it was going out for a moment. I think it caught. Yeah, just clip the tape. Oh. Well, he's playing some superb net himself, Narioka. Good length. Yeah, that's great from Shiyuki there. Stepped Six in, nine. read it. Great Eight. kill. Nine. Yeah, that's not even that. That's not loose. No. Yes. Just read it well, and it was great composure on that shot. Had to Just sort push of, it. Yeah, flat shot, wasn't it? Like a third shot in doubles. One, 
too many. That net's teasing him now. He wants to try and get Xi to lift, but she's playing this second end pretty well. Bray flicks her from Xi Qi. Well, that was loose. Six, yeah, just too much. Ten, nine. See, she keeps frustrated himself with that. Errors from both Six players over. just creeping in here. Yeah, it's getting a little bit, uh, well, a bit bitty this uh, second game. I think they're working so hard, it's uh, physical, and that's taking its toll mentally. Well played, Shiyuki. Chi. That's the first time Shiyuki is actually taking the lead this, this second game. Big left leg jump out. Just not quite enough height on the lift. And 11 10 at the break. Just one point in it with Narioka. The game to the good. <laughs> Brilliant. Playing with very tiny margins here. What about this? It's like a game of doubles. Serve. I, I do think it's wow. could be a bit of a weapon down the end that Narioka's down. As you can see off balance Shiyuki was when he played that smash. Confident net from Shiyuki. Wow. Shot. He's done so well to this point, not to lift unnecessarily. It's good use of the flick serve again there, Chris. I like that. Brilliant. Great rally from the Japanese. Wonderful net from Shi Chi. Six over. Thirteen. Fourteen. Six 
This is the thing, every time Narioka's playing to the net, he's just holding his base high. And he knows Shiyuki is going to play net because the few times he's gone over him, especially since the break, it's been generally out, but the quality hasn't been quite as good. Again, that flick service proven to be very effective. It's gone wide. Yeah, Drift didn't bring that one back in, it just kept going. Narioka doing his best to use the four corners of the court. One more error. Even if you just look at the body language between the two players, Narioka looks energized, let's say. He looks like more confident. Shiyuki looks like he's doubting himself. Yeah, I mean, that was walking pace for that final shot and still couldn't control it. Turn cross and another error from Shiki Chi. Well, the wheels are starting to fall off. Good smash down the line. And there's that double action net again. Proven to be a weapon a couple of times from Shiu Chi. And this just yes. sits on the tape and it just doesn't quite go over <laughs> for that. Partly could be because of the drift, you know, sits on the net and then the wind just blows it over. Stepped in well, and it's just calm, controlled, aggressive push. It's not wild. He's not all in. He's committed, but he's still in control. Play. Yeah, two slices. Just there, that push. Yeah, placement brilliant. as well. Really good placement on it. Confident net. Yeah, he's found the line, or inside the line, Shiyu Chi. Well, the most consecutive points for either of these two so far in game two has been two. Nobody's able to get a run. There's that fatigue we talked about after that long match yesterday with uh, Lu Guangzhou. Didn't look quite energized in defense. Yeah, he just doesn't get down. He's too upright. Yeah, and again, that's the part 
That's really hard work for us, isn't it, when you're tired yeah. to get down low and defend, especially after these long rallies. Yeah, your body, your body just wants you to reach, but it's you've got to move to it. You've got to make a movement to get it. Match point, Kodai in Arioka. It's going wide. Yep. He's done it. <laughs> the crowd love it. Have to, have to say, very professional performance in Arioka. Very composed, tactically very good, very consistent, hard working. Going to be honest, he fully deserves that. And he had the extra effort when it mattered. It was point for point until 15 all or so. And Arioka just pulled away at the end. The complete performance, really, again today. He was brilliant yesterday, too. And he calmly watches that drop wide. Arms aloft in celebration. And lovely to see what it means to him. A place in the semi finals. One more to get as far as he did last year. Straight games win then. 41 minutes, 21 14, 21 16. And Narioka through to another semi final. Well, four matches down here inside the Singapore Indoor Arena on quarterfinals day. A great win for Kodai and Narioka of a sheer moment to go. We've got women's doubles coming up next. And it's Rin Iwanaga and Ki Nakanishi. And today they take on the number three seeds from China, Zhang Xuxian and Zhang Yu.